फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल ऑन योर चैनल कॉमर्स विजन स्वागत करता हूं मैं आपके अपने चैनल कॉमर्स विजन पे और स्टार्ट करते हैं हम फिर से आज एक नया टॉपिक यस टुडे वी हैव स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेस लेक्चर इज types of bank deposit account already we have discussed about so many topics regarding banking chapter like meaning of banking function of banking and the function of central bank function of commercial bank you just remember the last lecture when we have discussed about the primary function and secondary function of commercial bank there are the two types of primary function accepting deposit and lending money now today we have discussed about how many types of deposit we have jis sahi suna aapne aaj hum baat karenge there are several types of deposit in our bank account bank provide so many option to us bank provide four especially four option provide to us and regarding to our situation according to our situation we have choose the bank account like we having four types of special four types of account first one is a fixed deposit second one is a saving deposit third one is a recurring and last one is a current account so one by one we have discuss about all types of deposit account for well, the first of all we have discuss about fixed deposit account okay now listen carefully what is the meaning of fixed deposit account and this type of person is suitable for fixed deposit account so student we having one person mr x ji sahi suna aap ye hai mr x mr x okay we having a person mr x and mr x said to a bank account means uh, mr x said to the a person i have rupees 1 lakh which i do not want in near future means ye kehte hai ki mere paas 1 lakh rupaye hai jo main abhi nazdeek mein chahta nahi hu matlab mere paas 1 lakh 1 lakh rupaye hain jinki abhi zarurat mujhe aane wale future mein nahi hai to unko bolta hai businessman that person the banker said to him which account is suitable for you the fixed deposit account is suitable for you which account is suitable for him so for the mr x which account is suitable suitable fixed deposit account naam se lag raha fixed means kya ek bar amount aapki fixed ho gayi so according to the fixed deposit account what is the meaning of fixed deposit account student a fixed deposit account is an account in which money is deposited for a fixed period of time and cannot be withdrawn cannot be withdrawn before of the period means ki when we have fixed ones we cannot withdraw we cannot withdraw before maturity date before maturity date suppose that when we have fixed for the 3 years we can't withdraw before 3 years we can ab aisa bhi nahi ki bilkul nahi kar sakte if you want to if any problem is there if any complication is there if you want your money back so bank will not give any type of interest to you bank aapko koi bhi interest nahi dega so what is the meaning of fixed deposit account is friend a fixed deposit account is the account in which money is deposited for the fixed period money is deposited for the fixed period okay money is deposited for the fixed period of the time and it cannot be withdrawn before the maturity period if you want to withdraw bank will not provide any type of interest to you what is the features of fixed deposit account student in case of fixed deposit account interest rate is very high among all four accounts interest rate is high in case of fixed deposit other name of fixed deposit is other name of fixed deposit is long term deposit as well as the time deposit yes long term deposit as well as the time deposit next one is the in case of fixed deposit no passbook or checkbook issued no passbook or checkbook issued minimum day minimum day 7 days and maximum time 10 years minimum day 7 day maximum time 10 years minimum amount 1000 and maximum amount having no limit so student a fixed deposit तो आपने क्या समझा फिक्स डिपॉजिट वो अकाउंट होगा जिसमें आप एक बार पैसा क्या कर दोगे सबमिट कर दोगे क्लियर एक बार आपने पैसा सबमिट कर दिया एक फिक्स टाइम के लिए और आप उतने टाइम के लिए क्या हो जाओ उस पैसे को लगभग भूल जाओ और एक उस मैच्योरिटी डेट के कंप्लीट होने के बाद आप पैसे को क्या कर सकते हो विड्रॉ कर सकते हो इन दिस केस ऑफ फिक्स डिपोजिट अकाउंट यू गेट अ मैक्सिम इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट इज हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट इज अ वेरी हाई it is also known as a long term deposit as well as a time deposit because it is fixed for the fixed period of time no passbook or checkbook issued bank provide one bond to you in case of fixed deposit no passbook no checkbook minimum days for a maturity day 7 days 
and maximum 10 years minimum amount 1000 and maximum having no limit अब आपके माइंड में आता हो कैसे लोग के लिए सुटेबल है ऐसा पर्सन जिसके पास सडनली कोई शूज अमाउंट आ जाए और वो कुछ फिक्स टाइम के लिए रखना हो पड़े सो फॉर द सच टाइप ऑफ पर्सन दिस डिपॉजिट इज सुटेबल लाइक मिस्टर एक्स मिस्टर एक्स हैव रुपीस 1 लाख एंड ही डू नॉट वांट दैट पर्टिकुलर मनी फॉर द नियर फ्यूचर एंड ही वांट दैट सेव दैट मनी फॉर द फ्यूचर आल्सो so which account is suitable this fixed deposit account is suitable because in this deposit we can deposit the money for the fixed period of time and we can't withdraw before the maturity period if you want to withdraw bank will not provide interest to you it means it will be penalty for you in case of the fixed deposit interest rate is very high it is also known as a long term deposit as well as the time deposit no passbook no checkbook and next one is the minimum 7 days and maximum 10 years minimum amount 1000 maximum having no limit i hope you got the fixed deposit account other name of fixed deposit is deposit, uh, deposit is a long term deposit as well as time deposit next one we have next one mr y ab bhai mr x ka kaam ho gaya ab mr y mile humko ab mr y kya kehte hain my transaction are not that much my transaction are not not that much but i want to keep my money in account bank account okay mr x ka to ho gaya bhai fixed deposit unke paas zyada paisa tha unko future mein paisa chahiye bhi nahi tha ab mr y bolte hain i have not that much transaction but i want to keep my money in bank account inke liye bhi option hai bank having option for mr y also bank bolta okay aapke liye ek account hai jiska naam hai kya saving account okay good saving account अब भाई सेविंग अकाउंट क्या आपके माइंड में होता है व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेविंग अकाउंट फिक्स डिपॉजिट तो समझ में आ गया इफ यू हैविंग ह्यूज मनी एंड इफ यू वांट टू कीप दैट मनी फॉर द सेव फॉर द फ्यूचर फॉर द मोर फॉर द थ्रू टू थ्री इयर्स एंड इफ यू वांट टू ह्यूज इंटरेस्ट दैट अकाउंट इज गुड फॉर अस नो पासबुक नो चेक बुक इज देयर बट वी विल गेट द बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट अमंग ऑल ओके अब व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सेविंग एंड व्हिच टाइप ऑफ पर्सन सुटेबल फॉर द सेविंग अकाउंट सो सेविंग अकाउंट mean for the saving purpose the main purpose of saving account is what naam se clear ho raha beta the main account is what for what purpose saving purpose okay any individual either single or jointly can open a saving account most of the salaried person pensioners and student use the saving account okay this type person use the saving account salaried person matlab jinko salary milti ho pensioner jinko regular pension milta ho student Use the saving account. Okay. अब आपके माइंड में बताओ कि व्हाट विच टाइप ऑफ फैसिलिटी गिवन इन द सेविंग अकाउंट क्यों इनके लिए सुटेबल है इन द केस ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सेविंग अकाउंट वी ऑल्सो गेट द इंटरेस्ट वी ऑल्सो गेट द इंटरेस्ट फॉर द सेविंग ओके बट लेस देन बट लेस देन फिक्स डिपोजिट बट लेस देन फिक्स डिपोजिट वी आर गेटिंग इंटरेस्ट बट लोअर देन फिक्स डिपोजिट मीन्स लेस देन फिक्स डिपोजिट रिस्ट्रिक्शन और विड्रॉल भाई आप की एक रिस्ट्रिक्शन होगी कि आप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बैंक हैविंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन सम बैंक हैविंग यू कैन विद्रॉ मैक्सिमम थ्री टाइम्स इन अ वीक बट फॉर द डिपॉजिट नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन यू कैन बी डिपॉजिट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इन अ डे नो प्रॉब्लम इज देयर यू कैन डिपॉजिट नंबर टाइम्स इन अ डे कोई डिपॉजिट के लिए कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं यू हैविंग ओनली रिस्ट्रिक्शन फॉर विदड्रॉल द मनी इन केस ऑफ सेविंग डिपोजिट वी आर गेटिंग पासबुक एंड चेक बुक वी आर गेटिंग passbook and checkbook because what is the meaning of passbook student passbook is a bank statement passbook is a bank statement which one provided by provided by bank to the account holder and passbook is a book which one contains the whole information about the bank account how much deposit we have how much money withdrawn means samajh lijiye ki wo ek lekha jokha hota hai us account ka kis particular account mein kitna paisa aaya aur kitna paisa gaya that particular amount is known as a passbook and what is the meaning of checkbook if you want to withdraw the money so checkbook is helpful for you because in case of saving you can deposit money as well as withdraw isme deposit kar sakte the but beech mein withdraw nahi kar sakte the here you can deposit the money as well as you can withdraw it is good for the salaried person pensioners student okay in this case we are getting interest but less than but less than fixed deposit like uh, i just give, give one example for you in present market in fixed deposit you are getting 8% interest but in case of saving deposit you are getting only 4% so you are getting interest but less than you are getting interest but less than 
less than fixed deposit in case of saving deposit you are getting passbook and checkbook but in case of fixed deposit no passbook no checkbook in case of um, saving deposit no restriction for the deposit the money no restriction for the deposit money but we having restriction for the withdraw we can't withdraw more than three times in a week okay so i hope you got the both deposit fixed deposit and saving deposit the next account we have discussed about recurring and recurring and recurring and current jaisa hi suna aapne hum log next topic baat karte hain recurring and recurring and current account after fixed and saving deposit account now we have discussed about recurring deposit and current deposit sahi suna aapne hum baat karenge ab recurring deposit ki aur current deposit account ki now we have discussed about recurring deposit account and current deposit account and now we have to understand what is the meaning of recurring deposit and what is the meaning of current deposit and this type of person is total for recurring deposit and this type of person is total for current deposit okay so already we have discussed about fixed deposit and saving deposit i hope you got it both thing his uh, mr raz okay and mr raz say that i am a salary employee but i want to good interest i want good interest okay abhi hum baat kiya tha for the salaried person saving account is suitable for but said it i am a salaried person but i want good interest banker say that okay i have one option for you and which account is uh, good for mr raju recurring the person who is a salaried one and he want good interest so which account is suitable recurring okay but what is the advantage and disadvantage of recurring and what are the difference between recurring and uh, saving i will tell you afterwards but first of all we have to understand what is the meaning of recurring account okay what is the meaning of recurring deposit student it is a special kind of it is a special kind of term deposit offered by banks in india which helps people with the regular income to deposit a fixed amount deposit a fixed amount every month to deposit a fixed amount every month into the recurring deposit account okay what is the meaning of recurring deposit to say it is a special kind of it is a special kind of term deposit offered by bank offered by bank like a which type of a customer mr raju a mr raju is a regular salaried person and he want good interest very good banker said that okay which account is suitable for you recurring deposit suitable for you if you are regular income person so it is good you will deposit a fixed amount a fixed amount to your account on regular basis every month you have to give a fixed amount in our bank account and you will get good interest you will get better interest than saving account rahul said okay it is good very good for me मतलब बेटा कि इसमें यह बात हो रही है कि रेकरिंग डिपॉजिट कौन से अकाउंट हो गए और क्या डिपॉजिट इस डिपॉजिट में डिफरेंस क्या कि मतलब आप एक फिक्स अमाउंट आप क्या करते जाओगे रखते जाओगे से मान लीजिए आपकी इनकम है बीस हजार यूर इनकम इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज अ रेगुलर सेविंग फॉर यू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इज कंजप्शन एंड ऑल फाइव आपका हर साल हर मंथ बच रहा है आपको माइंड में आया कि आई वॉन्ट गुड इंटरेस्ट so why i do not uh, open account you having so many option fixed or uh, saving another one you go to the bank and you say that to the banker uh, i am a salaried person and i want good interest also bank said okay which account is suitable for you recurring you submit 5000 rupees per month every year every month you have submit how much 5000 rupees for a fixed time for the fixed time and you have you can withdraw the money after maturity date you can't withdraw before maturity date listen carefully what is the difference between saving and recurring in saving you can withdraw you can withdraw you can withdraw as well as you can deposit but in recurring you can deposit but you can't withdraw before maturity interest rate is same as fixed deposit interest rate is same as a fixed deposit amount to be paid in the fixed installment a passbook is issued a passbook is issued because you can deposit money in a bank regularly every month that's why bank provide passbook but no checkbook why because in case of recurring deposit student you can't withdraw money before maturity date and minimum period is 6 month and maximum 10 years 
ओके okay? अब मैंने बोला कि छह महीने मिनिमम सिक्स मंथ एंड मैक्सिमम टेन ईयर छह महीने में पांच पांच हजार रुपए दूंगा बोला ब्रैंक ओके फाइव फाइव थाउजेंड हर मंथ आप दोगे और आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ यू कैन विद्रॉ योर मनी सिक्स मंथ इज फॉर एग्जांपल मैच्योरिटी डेट बैंक से ओके आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ यू कैन विद्रॉ योर मनी विथ योर इंटरेस्ट ओके इट इज जस्ट लाइक इंटरेस्ट इज सेम एज अ फिक्स डिपोजिट बट अमाउंट वॉट वी गेट इट इज नॉट लाइक अ फिक्स डिपोजिट अब बोलोगे सर ये तो आप अलग बता रहे हैं अब देखो बेटा उसमें क्या होता था फिक्स्ड अमाउंट में आप एक ही बार सपोज दैट जैसे मिस्टर एक्स हुआ करते थे मिस्टर एक्स ने वन लाख रुपीज डिपॉजिट कर दिया तो एक ही बार वन लाख रुपीज डिपॉजिट हो गया अब ये फाइव फाइव थाउजेंड हर मंथ देंगे तो लास्ट तक कितना होगा फाइव इंटू सिक्स थर्टी थाउजेंड लेकिन ये थर्टी थाउजेंड सडनली नहीं हुआ वन बाई वन पहले फाइव थाउजेंड देन टेन थाउजेंड देन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड देन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड तो पहले कितने इंटरेस्ट मिला फाइव थाउजेंड पे देन 10,000, then 15, then 20, then 25, then 30. But in case of fixed deposit, he got the money. He deposited the money at once, at once. Okay. Here we have submitted the money in installment. Interest rate is same as a fixed deposit, but what money we are getting it not same. I hope you got it. Why? Because in fixed deposit we have submit lump sum amount at once. Okay. But in case of recurring we have submit money with installment. And what we are getting interest on the basis of what amount we have deposited in the bank account. In case of recurring we are getting interest rate same as a fixed deposit. Amount to be paid monthly. It's a fixed installment. What money? already we have fixed we have to pay like 5000 we have to pay every month so we have to pay 5000 every month no means we, uh, in case of uh, recurring we are getting passbook but no checkbook in case of recurring minimum period 6 month maximum 10 years the last one we have current deposit a which type of person is suitable for current deposit account we having mr z a uh, mr c z mr z go to the bank and ask to the banker sir i am a businessman i just want to keep my money in uh, your bank bank said okay and he said that uh, i want some special facility also like a credit card overdraft and other things bank said okay so uh, mr jet asked which account is suitable for me so banker said that uh, for the businessman current account is suitable अब आप बोलोगे सर व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ करंट अकाउंट रेकरिंग पढ़ा दिया आपने फिक्स्ड पढ़ा दिया सेविंग पढ़ा दिया व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ Current account. Now listen carefully. What is the meaning of current account? It is the last account for you. It is the basically mean by, for the businessman. It is basically for the mean for the businessman. No restriction for withdraw. No restriction for the deposit. Number of times you can withdraw the money. Number of times you can deposit the money. मतलब number of times you can withdraw. Number of times you can deposit. Saving तो थोड़ा अलग है ये. Saving में you having restriction for the withdraw. But here, no restriction for the withdraw the money. You can withdraw the money number of times, and you can deposit the money number of times. This account is opened by the mostly by the businessman. That's why it is also known as a businessman account. That's why current account is also known as a businessman account. No limit for the number of transaction. Already I have told you, no number, no limit for the number of transaction. No interest paid by the bank. One more, most important thing you have to focus. No interest paid. In fix you got maximum interest. In saving you got interest but less than FD means less than fixed deposit. In recurring you are getting interest as a fixed deposit. Not but and what amount you are getting? It is not like a fixed deposit. But in case of current account, no interest paid by the bank. No interest paid by the bank. On other hand, even you have to means account holder have to pay. बैंक चार्ज फॉर द स्पेशल फैसिलिटी मतलब बैंक आपको कोई भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं देगा सही सुना आपने बैंक आपको कोई भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं देगा इवन आपको बैंक को चार्ज करना पड़ता है यू हैव टू पे बैंक चार्ज टू द बैंक फॉर द स्पेशल फैसिलिटी एंड व्हाट अ फैसिलिटी गिव प्रोवाइडेड टू द करेंट अकाउंट होल्डर ओवर ड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ओवर ड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटी स्टूडेंट नॉलेज इन केयरफुल ओवर ड्राफ्ट फैसिलिटी मीन्स यू कैन विदड्रॉ मोर देन यूर अकाउंट सपोज दैट Because this account is opened by businessman, I am a businessman. Suppose I have opened a current account hold a current account, okay, and in my bank account uh, only one lakh rupees, okay, and just now I need one lakh twenty thousand, okay. So we can I 
I can withdraw one lakh twenty thousand, but twenty thousand rupees is known as overdraft. What is the meaning of overdraft? Overdraft means you can withdraw more than your bank account. So such facility is known as the overdraft facility, and this facility only given to the which account holder? Current account holder. Next one is the statement of account. If you want the full details about your account, just now bank have to provide. It is a statement of account. A statement of account provided by the current account holder. Discounting of bill. In case of uh, function, you have discussed about the discounting of bill. When we have convert the when bank convert the bill of exchange into the cash, so it is known as the discounting of bill. And discounting of bill facility only given to the which account holder, current account holder. Due to this facility, we have to pay bank charge. We have to pay means account holder have to pay bank charge. Next one is the minimum deposit five thousand. Minimum deposit five thousand on. The, As well as you can say that, or depends upon the respective bank. Means different different bank having minimum deposit. Some bank having mostly bank having five thousand, but some having vary also. Means according to the bank, it will be change also. Last one, most of the current account are opened in the firm and company. Most of the current account opened by the firm and company. So, friends, today we have discussed about the four types of deposit account. First one is a fixed deposit. It is also known as a long-term deposit. We have deposit the money for the fixed time, but we can't withdraw before maturity date. We getting maximum interest among all four uh, deposit. It is also known as a long-term deposit as well as a time deposit. No passbook, no checkbook. Second one is a saving. It is good for salaried person, pensioners, and the student. We can withdraw the money as well as we can deposit the money. We are getting passbook as well as the checkbook. Restriction is there for only for the withdraw the money. Okay, we are getting interest, but less than FD and less than recurring. Third one is the recurring deposit. Recurring means what? Reoccurring. Har mesa hota hai raat hai installment. We have to deposit the money with a fixed installment every month. We have just submit the deposit the money with the fixed installment. We are getting interest just like a FD, but what amount we are getting? Not like a FD. Already I have explained. we are getting passbook but, but no checkbook why because friend we have only deposit the money but we can't withdraw before maturity date minimum period 6 month maximum 10 years amount have to pay of the fixed installment and last one is the current account holder current deposit it is also known as a businessman account it is mostly opened by the businessman we have getting the maximum facility in case of current account that's why bank never paid any type of interest even we have to pay bank charge to the bank and what a facility we are getting in case of current account overdraft statement of account discounting of bill minimum 5000 in mostly bank or depends upon the upon respective banks and last one you can say that this account is op mostly opened by the firms and company that's it is known as a that's why it is known as a businessman account so student i have discussed about all the deposit i hope you got it thank you very much that you never be